Time now for our segment on the footy show, talking about the No Regrets boxing bout, which is coming up in November, and we're looking forward to it, no doubt. And uh, we've been lucky enough this week to have a few more players put their hands up. Great to have Barry Michael with us, former world champ. He's about to head to Vegas. He's got the, the big fight that he's going to be broadcasting on the main event. Jeff Horn against Crawford. G'day, Baz. Good to have you with us again. G'day, Dan. Great to be here, mate. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, our No Regrets Boxing Challenge, uh, November the 2nd. And I'm also really looking forward to heading to Vegas on Wednesday to, to call the Horn Crawford fight at the MGM Grand. And you're with the great Eddie Maguire. And now, do you reckon he would be good enough? He's a great bloke, Eddie. I know him pretty well that from right. my time in the media. And he is always up for doing things, isn't he? Do you think he'd, he'd say, get your game face on for us next week? I, I reckon it's a certainty. Eddie and I have um, sparred, I've sparred Eddie a couple of hundred rounds over the you know, last 20 years, and have, we haven't worked together for quite a while, but Eddie holds his hands up pretty well, loves boxing, knows what he's talking about, and he will say, get your game face on. And, and, I, and I believe, just before uh, Tone asks you a question, he's not bad in the ring. No, Eddie goes all right. I tell you now, he's one one morning. He probably needed to learn to fight, being where he grew up. Well, exactly. He loves telling you that too, yeah. doesn't he? The broadie boy. We were we were sparring one morning, and I'd had a fairly heavy night, and uh, <laughs> I got Eddie. Usually, what I do is get him to throw punches at me, and then you know catch Work him. Work it out. Then I say, have a go at me. And this particular morning, because I've been showing him some stuff. He threw a jab to the body, he hit me flush on the chin with a right hand and shook me a bit. And he went, oh, sugar. A bit more than that it was. But he goes, oh, don't hit me, Baz. You can have the BMW. And that's a true story. And we've done that a couple of times. But he's a ripper, Blake, Ed, and I'm looking forward to getting over there. And Did you get the BMW? No. <laughs> no. He's got a Mercedes, mate. Yeah. Now, he had a BMW then. It's a long time ago. It's a good 15 Hey, Dan, ago. do you think that now that Barry's going over to Las Vegas, that you and I would be going over there to commentate it as well? Oh, do you As a so. camera crew and all that sort oh, of stuff? Oh, that'd be great if we, if, if, if we could organise that, Tom. Yeah. Be well, I've never been to Las Vegas. I've been to a lot of parts of America, but never been to Las Vegas. How many times have you been there, Baz? It is the home of boxing, isn't it? It's about my fifth trip, I think, and uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> so, Baz, what, what, what sort of money would a fellow like Horn get for this fight? For this fight, um, Bob Aram, the greatest promoter in history, signed Jeff Horn a couple of years ago, and for this fight, he's getting two and a half million, and I think that's US, that US, US dollars. I think that's US dollars. Ooh. But look, and if he was to win this fight, Tony, he'd be on. If he beats Crawford, because the Americans aren't giving him a chance, and I do give him a very strong chance, um, because he's he's a lot better fighter than the Americans think, and he can adapt. He can adapt. He's got a very strong mind. He's very powerful. But if he happens to beat Crawford, I would imagine he'd be on 10 million, 10 million a fight, at, at least. He'll be on huge money. He'll be regarded as undoubtedly the best pound-for-pound pound world weight in the world. So two and a half million, it sounds like a lot of money, but it, it's not a lot when when you look at it, is it? Well, when you these days, it's not a lot of money, I guess, when you look at the prices of properties and that in, in Victoria or Australia. But, uh, and, you know, and then you'll, you'll have to pay tax on that. You'll have to pay management. You, you know, you, but it's still... It's still, still going right. It's still a great earn yeah. for a young boy who's, you know, just... He's, what is he now? He's about 28, I think, Jeff. His uh, wife just had their first child. And, you know, fantastic story. And uh, I wish him all the best. And, and I know he's, he's a very smart kid and he'll look after his money, which is great. Now, why is Bob the best promoter? Oh, Bob Aram, he's a um, good question, actually. He was a lawyer. He was a um, New York lawyer, I think, uh, Bob Aram. But he um, got into boxing way, way back, promoting Muhammad Ali. And he's promoted some of the greatest fights in history. And uh, I've dealt with Bob. I've known him for 35 years. I actually signed a world title fight contract with him back in 83, I think it was, which never occurred because I collapsed in Miami with a heel injury. That's another story. But and I saw um, Bob last year before the Horn uh, Pacquiao fight, and at 87, his memory is incredible. 87 he is? 87, yeah, wow. he's, he's remarkable. 